Last time I met with Kimberly's parents, and Kimberly was giving a rude attitude the whole time I was sitting next to her. And honestly, since Kimberly arrived in India, she is only picking out bad and worse thing day by day, day by day. And this is the last thing which she did is is broke me. I f up a lot. I'm not gonna say I don't. I do. I just I wanted you to understand how I felt in that moment. And I'm sorry if I made you feel like this wasn't salvageable. I'm, I'm sorry. I love you, like from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I don't know what future look like from here. Because what happened from last five, six years, it just, just like shattered me and I feel me more evaluated rather than the situation. TJ, I don't want to end this. Because of some stupid fights. <laughs> You're the only one I'll ever want to marry. You're the only one I can see my future with. <laughs> I'm disappoint disappointed about this. You can cry and you just are telling me now that I have importance in your life. Yesterday, I didn't feel that. There is no reason of sticking up together if someone is very sad and very disappointed about some other's deeds. I, I know. And I'm sorry I didn't treat this relationship better. Honestly, I didn't think you would break up with me because every time I tried to run, you'd be like, it's up to you, you do what you want, it's up to you. So I guess I figured subconsciously that you would never break up with me. You touched me like in a way that I can't do anything without having your influence in it. You taught me that I could believe in myself, and TJ, you're everything to me. When I say that, you're everything, you're everything. I want to give this a fair shot, and I don't think I have. And if you can forgive me at some point in the future, I'd really like to prove to you that I can do this. <laughs>